Hello, my lovely people. Welcome back. It's a beautiful Sunday. We all think that virtual reality has just been invented and it's going to change our future. But can you believe that virtual reality is in the world from 14th century? Yeah, and that is books. Yes, books changes lives. Books changes people. Books changes ideas. Books are literally like a friend. They say that one book is equal to 10 friends, right? So in this video, we're going to talk about four books that helped me to open my eyes towards the world and towards the way I saw the world. Let's go ahead and check it out. So book number one is The Magic, written by the author Rhonda Bryan. Magic was a gift in 2016. That was my birthday. So when uh, this book was gifted to me, I never read a self-help book. I've been reading a lot of other books. The reason why I started reading books is to improve my vocabulary. That's the first thing. And to improve my uh, speaking quality, to improve the way I speak, improve the way I uh, write. But later on, when this book was gifted to me, I created, it developed an attraction towards self-help book. And that was the first self-help book that I read, Magic. Magic helped me to be more thankful for the world and to be thankful for whatever I had. The book surrounds around 28 activities that you have to follow religiously. Every single day, there will be tasks that you have to follow. And later on, you will find that your life transforms in every single way. It could be a job. It could be your life. It could be a relationship. It could be your friendship. Everything literally turns and transforms. That's the beauty of the book, The Magic. And I started believing in magic from 2016 until today. I believe in magic and I practice this whenever things don't go well, right? That's the first book that really helped me to open my eyes. Book number two is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Think and Grow Rich, I bought it through Amazon in 2016 again, December 2016 to be exact. So I, I had an idea that uh, money is something that we have to earn. But after reading Think and Grow Rich, I have changed that mindset. Author Napoleon Hill says that money is an idea. Idea is what creates money. That's what creates rich people. So he says that you develop your idea, you focus on your idea. This book around this book goes from 1930 to uh, research all the successful people in that time, and they come up with the idea, come up with the solution that if you want to be rich, if you want to have more money in your life, create your own ideas and work towards that idea, and automatically money follows the idea. And automatically the idea is yours and you're going to be rich. So Think and Grow Rich is more about how you develop your ideas and what kind of actions do you need. It's not a self-help book. It's not a self-help book. It's more of, uh, I, I could put it in a, a business category book because I would say every single businessman has this ideology of developing their own ideas and focus and develop their own business, right? So Think and Grow Rich is the second book that helped me to open my eyes. Third book is The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin Sharma. Robin Sharma is an Indian breed and I feel proud about that. He, but he was born and brought up in Canada. He was a author, he was a uh, lawyer who, who later changed or transformed his career as an author through this book, Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. If you want to know what is true happiness, to find the true richness of life, this is the book that I recommend. There are seven uh, points or seven uh, points or some stories, little, little stories. I'm not going to reveal what is that. When you follow the uh, suggestions that the author gives, you will get to know what is the true meaning of life. So I read this book in 2017 and I found what is the true meaning of life and what can we do with our life. So he was a person who has all the money and all the, uh, the title itself is interesting, right? Monk who sold his Ferrari. He has his own ser 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 Ferrari and what he does and he's not happy and one day he would have a heart attack and then he would sit and relax and he would find that he's not living a life that he wanted to and then he goes back and becomes a monk and understands what's the true uh, happiness and what can we do about it so through this book he shares his experience of transforming from a lawyer to a monk if you have listened if you haven't watched his video in youtube i definitely recommend go ahead and check out robin sharma's videos you will find a lot of interesting ideas so Third book is The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. And this was not a gift. It was actually given to me and uh, one of my manager, Yutendran, but I haven't written this book because he flew to UK and I flew to Bangalore. So <laughs> we didn't get a chance to meet again. But if I meet him again, definitely I'm going to give this book. Okay. 
And the third book, or sorry, the fourth book is The Sapiens, written by Yuval Noah Harari. One of the interesting authors that I came across is the person Yuval Noah Harari. He's from Israel, and a philosopher, a historian, a lot of other uh, titles for him. He has written three books, and this piece of work, Sapiens, was recommended by one of my friends. And uh, she said, I, I'm recently reading, a, I've been reading this book, Sapiens. Man, I couldn't believe what is happening. And I thought, I'm definitely going to buy this book. When I bought this book in 2018, I was a person who was looking into, uh, who was going through, uh, I was looking, I was uh, seeing the world in a different perspective, right? And after reading this book, the way I saw the world was totally different. Yes, I'm not joking. Yeah, the way I saw the world was literally like opening the screen and looking into the real reality, right? So that's something that I uh, always feel grateful for. This book has around uh, 500 pages. It's a pretty big book. I took one month to read the book. And what happens when you read the book is you go to millions and millions of years. The author starts from uh, how hunted gatherers lived in the past and then he comes to uh, century by century and peeling the layer one by one and seeing how an animal, human being, has turned to be dominant animal. I mean, uh, a person or how he developed the world for himself. This world was given to all the other animals. Why this particular animal started dominating the other animals and how did it happen? You will find all the answers through this book, Sapiens. I would recommend this book to everybody, yeah, literally everyone, because we are human beings and we should know what happened. If you want to invent great things in the future, you should know what happened in the past, right? So that's the uh, fourth book, Sapiens. So books, one book number one is Magic by Rhonda Bryan, two is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, and the uh, third one is Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, and Sapiens. These are the four books that really, really helped me to change my perspective towards the world, towards whatever um, I was seeing, towards my job, towards my relationship, towards my um, friendship, and towards my uh, all other things possible. Right? I would definitely recommend you guys to check it out Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your love and support. See you later. Bye for now.